Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for uh, Virgo for the end of your December going into January. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if, if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you uh um i suggest you book uh to book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below all right so let's get started here um virgo tell me about virgo and love Tell me about Virgo in love. Over energies for Virgo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the end of their December going into January. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Oh. We have the sun, three of wands, seven of pentacles, the chariot, the six of cups here, and the wheel of fortune. So what I'm getting here is I feel like we have someone here that's coming back around. Okay, you know, I just feel like someone's happiness is just not the same without you here. Okay, so the sun in the three of wands here, you know, I feel like this person is definitely contemplating about this or thinking about this or yearning for you, missing you while they're on vacation here. Okay, so the seven of pentacles and a chariot cancer energy. It seems like they're definitely, you know, definitely doing a lot of reassessing here. Definitely spending a lot of alone time here, okay? I do feel like we have someone here that's missing you a lot and they want to come back around or that they've been unable to move on without you. Now, Virgo, you could be experiencing this towards your person too. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. The Sun, Leo energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, the Sun here. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Three of Wands here, and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Seems like someone here is holding on to hope that things can be repaired or that you guys can get, get back together here. Someone here is holding on to hope that if, once they send you a text message, uh, they're hoping that you would respond to them, okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the four of pentacles here you know i feel like this person is really really concerned that things can't get back to the way that they were before obviously there's going to be some sort of i mean it's going to be a bit different here uh, if something bad went down here with the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo six of cups and the ten of wands the wheel of fortune here and the king of swords libra aquarius gemini i feel like someone here has plans to come back around Let's, let's say if this person has had a lot of childhood trauma and pain here and this person has been carrying it, carrying it around with them, I feel like this person's letting it go, okay? You know, I feel like since this person has separated from you, I do feel like this person has found a sense of happiness here on their own, but it's sort of like it's better with, with you, you know? So tell me about uh, the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? I mean, you could be missing this ex. You could be hopeful that this ex is going to come back changed and different here, new and improved. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for the end of their December going into January, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo? Two of swords here in the Hermit, Virgo energy, the higher front here, Taurus energy in the Four of Cups, and the two of pentacles here in the two of wands you know this person had so this person has a decision to make it's kind of like one of those energies of you know what i've improved so much while i was away from you you know someone here is realizing that they're better off doing like 
being on their own right now because I feel like whoever this is, this person's definitely on some sort of spiritual path here. I feel like this person's definitely doing some sort of deep healing work. So it's sort of like, is it worth, you know, taking that chance in going back towards the past because I've made so much progress. I don't want to go backwards anymore, you know? So the two of pentacles here and the two of wands. So I feel like this person has a de decision to make whether they want to revisit this again or not. Because like I said, I feel like there's an energy of like, you know, it, you know, so much improvements have been made. So much change has happened. It's like, is it worth like going back, you know? Uh, because, you know, I feel like there's a sense of like, if I go back, did I truly really learn my lessons here? Okay, so Virgo, you could be feeling this way too. Okay, so like I said, you get to switch the roles if you want. Apply this to your own unique situation. Two of Swords, Three of Pentacles, The Hermit. The Five of Pentacles. Three plus, five, it's three plus five is eight. I mean, someone here is definitely working and overcoming or has overcome their insecurities here. You know, so I feel like when it comes to like, oh, let's work things out, I feel like this person's not sure about that. You know, the Hierophant. You know, the Six of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I do feel like we have someone here that could be coming in, you know, to offer you some sort of apology here, okay? Perhaps, you know, you know, perhaps, you know, they, 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 they want a clean slate or something like that, you know? A clean slate in life, you know, trying to make amends here with you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Cups, Two of Wands here, and the Justice card. Seems like this person definitely has a decision to make. Seems like we have someone here that's still in love with you. The thing is, like I said, I feel like this person has made so much improvement in their life. Is it worth revisiting the past? And if I did revisit the, the past, does that mean I have learned my lessons here? You know, I feel like, you know, personally, I wouldn't. That's just me. Um, but it's really up to you, like up to your person. You know, whoever this reading is for, yeah, personally, I, w I wouldn't, yeah. Because when you go back, you know, you know, sometimes you could revert back to like old behaviors or maybe not. It's just that, you know, going back could be a waste of time because you could be such as a, a like on a such a different vibration and wavelength, you know, you might not even have any sort of connection with this person anymore or that you don't have any commonalities with this individual you know so yeah that's just me you know i'm not you know i'm not even i'm not friends with any of my exes you know you know an ex is your ex for a reason you know so you know i do, I do feel like you know they, they you know i feel like you can be friends with an ex but i feel like there needs to be time apart before that can happen you know, and let's say if something, if this ex treated you poorly, this person was horrible to you, you know, I, j I just feel like, you know, that might be a bit of a different story because like, you know, why be friends with someone that treated you poorly? You know, just because the title of your relationship has changed, it doesn't mean that the behavior has changed, you know, because it's, it's essentially it's the same person. But, you know, in this instance, I, I do feel like this individual has made some changes here. Yeah, uh, outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their love situation. What does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on here for Virgo? Eight of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the Fool here, and the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups here, and the Lovers. Eight of Wands and Temperance. You know, I do feel like we have someone here that's reaching out to you to make amends here with you to make peace with you. We have the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like this person might reach out. Yeah, I do feel like this person might reach out. It's kind of like they're going back and forth. Is it worth reaching out? Seven of Cups here and the Lovers. And I feel like this person's definitely fantasizing about you, fantasizing about this relationship. Even to the point that it's kind of obsessive. Yeah, obsessive about getting back together here. So the Ten of Cups here and the Devil Capricorn energy. We have the Four of Wands here. Okay, definitely a strong soul tie with this individual. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. We have someone here that's actually willing to work on this relationship here. Seven of Cups 
Nine of Cups, the Lovers here, and the High Priestess. You guys do have a very spiritual connection. I am seeing a successful reconciliation here. But, you know, it's sort of like, it's that, like, I feel like this can be a successful reconciliation, but it's sort of like an energy of like, is this worth revisiting again? Because like I said, you know, I feel like, you know, the separation has happened for so long. You know, I feel like someone here has done fine without somebody. But, you know, but someone here is missing someone in the past, missing their ex here. Okay, so uh, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.